Welcome back to another video boys, Mike here, and today guys we're on some Blackhawk Rescue Mission 5. This one's going to be an Operation Viper farming method on how to get 5 stars and also how to get some more cash. So this one's going to be like a summarization of what's the best method to use. So that doesn't mean I'm going to be showing you step by step because I've done multiple videos on that. I'll link it in the description down below or I can do some updated ones. Let me know in the comment section down below. But that being said, just a summarization on what's the best thing to do. So, for example, I could be saying, because uh, I, I do get a lot of questions saying, Mike, what's the best thing to do, like mountain or desert or is it PvP or is it raid mode? Like, those are the questions I'll be answering in this video. So, with that being said, let's dive right in. All right, so you got to ask yourself, how many kills are you getting in PvP compared to, like, how much time do you spend in open world? Because if you're only averaging, like, four kills a game in uh, ranked or even PvP, five on five, or classic mode, whatever you want to call it, you gotta ask yourself, is it really like time efficient for you to be in PvP or would you be better off in like open world for example? Because I see a lot of people switch over to PvP only because they see other people doing it. They aren't playing to their strength and um, they're not doing what's best for them. They're doing what's best for others and there's a reason why they're still trying to grind until this day. So with that being said, make the call on if you're a PvP person or more of an open world person to start the grind in. Alright, so now that you guys decided if you're a PvP person or if you're an open world person, I'll put the PvP section of the video in the description down below, like the TAM stamp, so you can actually like go to the part where I talk about the best PvP grinding areas and stuff like that. So with that being said, here's the open world one, and that's the first thing here is... How many stars are you at and are you capable of going into raid mode? Because raid mode is probably the best thing to grind in right now. But that's not, it's not grindable if you're actually just a fresh player. So you have to ask yourself, well not ask yourself, you have to pretty much check yourself and see how much cash do you have to purchase a weapon because you're going to need a weapon for raid mode that's not the M16A2, that's a top flyer. You're going to need something like a Scar H, maybe M4A1, AK103. You're going to need an upgraded weapon, but if you're a fresh player, um, you're gonna be going into another base, which I'll be saying in a sec. Alright, so if you chose raid mode as your go-to farming method here, you're gonna need a good weapon, and personally, in this video, I'm using the Scar Age with a short barrel. That'll one-tap everyone in the head. And I would recommend, if you go into solo here, if you're doing it with people, they're probably gonna be taking your kills, so... The whole point of raid mode is because you get all those people for yourself to kill, right? And here's the thing, though. You gotta be careful, though, because you won't be gaining XP or anything like that when, um you're doing the evacuation to the helicopter so your time to grind is from the start towards the exfil part so you got to be fast on who you're killing and you can't be hiding the whole point of this is to get the kill so you got to be peeking you can't just hide and wait for the helicopter and get that like bonus at the end because that bonus at the end is going to be nothing compared to what you could actually be getting in raid mode so you want to find yourself a method in raid mode i've done a video on raid mode doing it solo and it is possible really easy um once you get the hang of it so i'll link in the description down below Get yourself a good rhythm so much easier for you guys and um yeah so raid mode's gonna be a number one thing to grind for an open world but if you don't have a good weapon like the scar h or like you don't even have to use a scar h it could be like ak-103 for example like double drum you just need something like a rifle that isn't a starter which is the m162 anything other than the m162 or smgs you're good to go moving on to the open world aspect of this and this is pretty much a questionable one and a debatable one because a lot of you guys say mountains better than desert but in my opinion i do believe desert is the better option and now hear me out before you start commenting in the comments down below that mountain is better now think about it if you're in mountain right there's not much enemies there when you're clearing it out and you think of the bag everyone thinks of the bag when you're farming for a uh, mountain right and you got to go to the bag which is at the mountain by via helicopter unless you want to take a jeep which will take two years to get to so i would recommend you got to be at least two stars to head to that mountain right but the thing is though that bag is less than the helicopter that comes in the desert base and that desert base comes with the enemies every so often so you're always getting xp here and there if you compare it to the mountain the mountain base those enemies only come in once you clear out the whole wave and by the time you make it back to the command center you're already on like the third wave for desert the time you take the time it takes to go to the command center and all the way back to the mountain that takes up so many time so much time whereas if you're a desert you could be in a nice rhythm with uh you got your paratroopers you got your vehicles and then you got your helicopter and those three keep coming back and back and back you don't need to be waiting that much long you only have to wait like what 30 seconds for each wave to come in and you get the helicopter, which is like 500 XP and like 300, no, 500 cash and like 300 XP, if I do remember, something like that. So I do believe desert's the best thing to do. Um, mountain is just, I don't, I don't see how it's efficient at all. Like, 
everyone who I say this to, they always say, oh, but the bag, but the bag, Mike, but the bag. The bag is literally terrible because you gotta go all the way back to the command center. And then you gotta go all the way back there. Clear the base, which is like only one wave compared to the desert base, which is like multiple vehicles. You got multiple paratroopers. You got multiple helicopters if you stay for multiple waves, obviously. So, desert is the better option. Trust me when I say that. Test it out yourself. Test yourself and literally time yourself. See how much XP you get doing desert than if you were to do it for a mountain and um i've done a video on how to grind uh desert base but i haven't done an updated mountain one if you want an updated one let me know in the comment section down below and i can do that one for you guys so that being said also let me know in the comment section what do you think is better even after what i said now that we have that out of the way now we're moving on to pvp so with pvp now this one's gonna be an interesting one because i sure do know there's gonna be a lot of you thinking that you're a pvp or you may be actually a pvp -er. so if you're a pvp -er, you already know what i'm about to say you gotta hit yourself ranked mode you gotta go solo ranked here solo ranked will get you so much cash and will get you so much kills if you're actually a good pvp -er. I say this because you got 300 per win and 100 per loss. So you're getting cash regardless in rank. But the one thing that you're probably going to be suffering is your actual rank if you do lose, right? So here's the thing. If you play solo, most likely, I'm not even trying to say, but most of the people in rank, they're pretty average at PvP, right? But if you stand out from them, you will be get racking yourself up so many kills. At least like 8 kills a game. 8 kills a game easily. And um, that's a lot of kills to be getting for ranked and that the fact that there's eight rounds so in fact you should be getting more than eight kills when you put your team when you put the team on your back if you're gonna play five on five i would say just go to open world five on five is not it anymore raid mode is it boys i'm telling you raid mode is it but anyways pvp ranked mode is just the best thing you could do i forgot to mention too for raid mode i don't know if i still have the raid mode watchers but you do get a drop actually at the end and it may give you some more cash at the end or some more XP. So that's a bonus. Anyways, with PvP ranked, you get 300 per win, 100 per loss. But that's not your main focus though. Your main focus is getting the kills. The kills is what makes you grind up faster than open world. Because with the amount of kills you're getting, it will like speed up the process. And I think it's more enjoyable when you're actually playing PvP. You don't realize how much you're grinding when you're playing PvP because you're more focused in the actual match, right? And I could say that for a lot of people because when you're grinding like a game, for example, you get like burnt out. You get so tired doing the same thing over and over and over. But with PvP, you're more, it's more fun for you and more enjoyable for you to actually make the grind. So that's why I say PvP ranked. But I wouldn't say to play with friends at all when you're trying to grind because they'll most likely take the kills. You want to be doing this solo and you'll have 8 rounds at this. Uh, possible 8 rounds at this. So this will be... That'll be awesome. Or not a possible 8 rounds. 7 rounds. My apologies. 7 rounds because it's 4 and 3. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it with PvP ranked, man. If you're not going to be playing ranked, just head to open world. I've done it. I've done a whole bunch of open world things like that. So you could easily farm there too. And don't be embarrassed. You don't always have to be a PvP. -er. I don't know why everyone thinks all oh, the dude, these guys are PvP or -er. like, bro, like you could literally be playing open world and you'll be fine too. Like n just because the meta I think right now is PvP doesn't mean you're going to have to go to it. Alright boys, so that's the wrap for this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new, join the Discord in the description, comment down below how many stars you are at, and if you have any questions. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.